could barely see Seward as we sped towards our fishing spot for the day. The masterful hands of the captain of Black Magic Charters and my friend Brian Blutcher running us through the rough surf, then walking me through how to catch the fish. This is called a mooching rig. It has right. a banana weight and a hoochie on the back. It was almost like magic, a silver in the boat just minutes after we anchored down. One down. Then another one. Oh yeah. And another one. <laughs> you know the time. Brian knows where the fish are, I guess, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not only does Blutcher know where they are, but he also knows how to attract them. We did mooching. It's different from trolling, where basically we found the school of fish. We anchored up to them, and then we basically chummed the fish into our slick. Look at that. That looks tasty. Yum. You chum, they will come. Blutcher not only stands out for his great fishing, but he also is one of just a few black captains in Seward. I don't, I don't focus on that I'm a black captain or that I'm a black guy fishing. I enjoy doing this, and I really, it really doesn't, I really don't think about it. I do take pride in the sense that I am a black captain, captain and I can open up the door for a lot of other people, a lot of other black or brown people who haven't been exposed to this. And, they, and it's just an easy key way for them to come in and feel comfortable with me and go out fishing. We limited out on silvers and switched to Black Magic Charter's specialty bottom fish, and it wasn't long before Blutcher lined up a lingcot. Oh. But that is where this story takes a turn. After a great day of fishing, we heard a distress call on the radio, and Blutcher jumped into action. It was lights and sirens. It was red. It was it was go red go. You know, it was like we need to assist this vessel. They are in distress and lives are at stake. So I heard the the mayday call on the radio. I immediately turned the boat around and I punched it as hard as I could to get there. We found the vessel sinking and a sea tow boat in action, saving the two people on board and even going into the water himself in hopes to save a pet that was stuck in the hall. Unfortunately, the pet was lost, but the couple's lives were saved by a quick response. A stark reminder to always have the proper safety equipment when going out into the unpredictable sea.